I got a Rhea Ripley hot take and true warning to those about to listen, it may make you upset because we are looking back at Rhea Ripley's tenure as Raw Women's Champion ahead of her title defense against Becky Lynch at WrestleMania 40 in just a few weeks in Philadelphia. I believe, a lot of people believe, odd makers believe, Rhea Ripley will lose said championship to Becky Lynch at WrestleMania 40. And rightfully so. Like Rhea, she's held the women's world title for a year now. See, I always consider the women's world title is still the Raw Women's title and the women's championship is the SmackDown Women's Championship. It's just, I've typed it, I've read it, I've said it so many times, I get them confused. But either way, she's probably going to lose that title. And rightfully so, right? She's had a heck of a run as champion, Becky Lynch. It's now her time. Rhea Ripley, I have praised numerous times here on the channel. You go back, you look at her 2023 breakout year had a career year. She held the Raw Women's Division together with her countless title defenses across house shows, TV, and PLEs, right? She's done an exceptional job in that role as the champion, as the top star in that women's division at a time where Becky Lynch, she was undergoing various changes. She had an NXT run. She had to rebrand, right? Triple H and her had to get her back as the man And now we have Becky Lynch. She won the Elimination Chamber match. She earned the right to challenge Rhea Ripley for the Women's World title. Now, I think this feud has been interesting because they haven't really interacted much, if you think about it, as a recording of this video, at least, because they've done teases, they've done stare downs, they've done showdowns, but we have yet to get really a back and forth shoot work promo from these two ladies. And that's something that I'm looking forward to. And I was going through cage match and I was looking at some of the matches, some of the opponents that Rhea Ripley's worked, that Becky Lynch's worked, and it got me thinking And as someone who has supported Rhea Ripley as much as I have, this is kind of a negative take on Rhea Ripley. And it's not necessarily her fault. You could say that it's really Triple H's fault, right? Because she feuded with various stars throughout 2023. Whether that be Dana Brooke, Shotzi, Bailey, Raquel Rodriguez, right? She feuded in early 2023 with Beth Phoenix and Edge as part of um, Judgment Day, she obviously beat Charlotte Flair for the title at WrestleMania. She went down and even worked with Lyra Valkyria, the current NXT Women's Champion, down in NXT. But then I was looking. Hmm. So she's worked Natalia, Indy Hartwell, Let's see, Shayna Baszler, Raquel Rodriguez at Crown Jewel. She went over Nia Jax, Raquel Rodriguez, Shayna Baszler, Zoe Starks in the Fatal Five Way Survivor Series. She defeated Zoe Stark. She beat Maxine Dupree on an episode of Monday Night Raw, another IB Nile match. Most recently, her last match that aired was a month ago, as a recording of this video, when she retained the Women's World title over Nia Jax in the main event of the Elimination Chamber Perth event over in Australia. That was a very cool moment for her. But then if you go on the flip side of this track and you look at Becky Lynch, she was part of the top program in all of WWE last November when she and Charlotte Flair and Bianca Belair they were teaming together. They were feuding with damage control at War Games. Then she had a notable run in the Royal, the, the Royal Rumble, right? And then she won the Elimination Chamber match to earn the title shot. So what is this hot take? Well, everything that I just broke down, you've seen what Rhea Ripley has done. And really outside of the Elimination Chamber main event, if you compare that one moment to also, Becky Lynch has been in a pretty notable feud with Nia Jax as of late. She's been doing a lot of good work with Liv Morgan on television. Um, 
the company is making you feel like Liv Morgan could be added to that match and make it a triple threat, although I don't think they will and I don't think they should. But if you look at various things that Becky has done, the several things that Becky has done compared to really the one thing that Rhea Ripley has done, Becky Lynch has had a better run over the last six months than Rhea Ripley. And that is kind of surprising because I understand that at some point, yes, you want to build up a credible challenger for Rhea in Becky. Of course you want to do that, especially at WrestleMania, going for the title, trying to do a title change. Absolutely, you have to build up that challenger. But at the same time, you have someone like Rhea Ripley, who is one of your biggest stars, one of your most popular stars. You have to continuously support her and book her in the right ways. And I understand that maybe the talent pool on Raw is not notable, but or at least deep, you got to have her work more matches on television, in my opinion. you got to keep her special because if you just look at Cage Match, you go and you look at 2024, she's worked two televised matches. She beat Knight at Ivy Nile on the January 1st episode of Monday Night Raw and then the Elimination Chamber. Everything else has been three SmackDown dart matches where she's worked with Shayna Baszler and Natalia and Nia Jax. And then she's worked with those three star those two stars at recent live events. Okay. That's kind of an issue. And I think it's a well criticism of Triple H, of his booking, of what WWE has been doing with Rhea as of late, where she's kind of in the background. Right? It, she's not only in the background in the women's division, but she's also in the background of the Judgment Day. Judgment Day really has been shined on, okay, is really over the last six months. Who is Damian Priest and Finn Balor defending the tag team titles against? They're going to do that again uh, at, at WrestleMania in the six patch challenge ladder match, which will be chaotic. And when will Damian Priest? Priest cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase. Rhea Ripley's in the background. She's just there. She's almost like a dominant Mysterio. Heck, you can make the case that dominant Mysterio has been given more of a showcase on WB programming over the last six weeks. That's a problem for Rhea Ripley fans. And that's a problem because now you look at these concerns that I've brought up, which I think are valid criticisms. But you are coming out of WrestleMania now where she's not going to be the champion. Now, you could make the case, well, she's going to feud with Becky Lynch, you know, in Saudi Arabia or whatever the Nets PLE is, the WWE host. But it's like, okay, well, then she's going to lose again, and then what? Where does she go from there? Like, that's a real concern if you're a Rhea Ripley fan. And I just wanted to bring that up and talk about that. But, yeah, I think Becky Lynch has had a better last six-month run.